Series Italianist Bodybuilding and New Jersey Training Group are going to be training today. What the hell are we doing, Matt? We're doing back today. Some back today. And Matt's going to be, Matt's going to be uh, dictating the back workout, and we're going to get it in. And remember, like, share, and subscribe to Series Italianist Bodybuilding. And if you need personal training and you're in the tri-state area, New Jersey Training Group with my boy Matt here. Vertical okay, movement. You're in shape. Um, one horizontal movement, two sets each. So what I like to do is 20 reps. 20 reps, 18 reps, 18 reps, warm up is done. Style. Style is the answer to everything. A fresh way to approach a dull or dangerous thing. To do a dangerous thing with style is what I call art. First exercise is going to be a straight down movement. So no lean in the back, just straight down. We're hitting more of the inner lats over here. And as we go throughout our workout, we start here and we're going to work our way back. Last set. I got my bougie water bottle. Really? I got mine from Costco. Costco. Glass water bottle from Amazon. Reverse osmosis water. Costco. Even better. <laughs> Beautiful. We're doing a narrow stance just to get that full extension in the lats. As compared to wide, you're not getting that full extension. Good. However, this also hits biceps more as compared to wide. Good. You gotta be aware of that. Beautiful. Up and down. You got it. One more, one more. You got it. Perfect. Vertical movement okay. is also a superset. Okay, so like I said before, we're not starting off straight for this. Right. We're starting off and finishing off a with a lean back. Okay. So it's like transitioning into horizontal movements. Gotcha. Know what I mean? And then right after, jump straight into this pullovers. Right. Okay? I gotcha. So for this, there's no need to turn gotcha. like this. We want to totally eliminate biceps as much as we can. Gotcha. So just keep it neutral and just pull down. Lean back, arch. New Jersey training group. 
Knows what he's doing, that's for sure. Starting straight up with a slight control jerk. Third one was keeping back the whole time, supersetted with pullovers. Now it's a close grip uh, row movement. Right, let's do this. And then you probably guess what our fourth row movement is. If this is close, last one is wide. There we go. And then we work into rear delts. <laughs> Chest against the pad. Come back. Get position. And then I'm gonna bring my ass out. Just like that. No reason for this, just to look sexy. Okay. I like the sexy parts. That's the pre-workout talking right there. Yes, sir. Now the real reason to bring your ass out is to get more isolation in the back. So you do want to bring that ass back. My ass is out. There you go. Ever heard that song? What is it? Throw that ass in a circle. Oh, God, no. <laughs> God, no. Good. Beautiful. Good. Good form, bro. Good form. Good form. Beautiful. Nice big stretch. Feel that in the morning, son. Oh, 100%. Row movement. And then we do wide grip row movement one. Everybody says they don't like when uh, people are in the gym. I, I like when it's best crap. I like it, but not when you can't get a machine. Yeah, I feed off the energy. I get, when I hear music on and the weight's pounding and people grunting, it makes me get into it. Would you, would you be able to have your own personal gym, just you working out? I don't think I would either. Good. Come on, you got it. You got it. You got it. Beautiful set. I'm a little bit old school, so 90% of my training is free weights. But I've noticed as I've gotten older, I really should transition to more pulling movements. Absolutely. And uh, machines just to avoid injury, because I do feel more stabilization. Yeah, I do feel um, my elbows, shoulders, my lower back when I pull, when I'm pushing hard. I got elbow wraps on my shoulders and chest. You know, I wear a belt when I'm rack pulling, deadlifting. It's uh, an old fuck. Yep. <laughs> back movement. Okay. Beyond favorite. Always has been. Staple in all my back workouts. I've been listening to uh, podcasts during oh. cardio. Yours, anything. During um, Serious and Silliness podcasts, <laughs> during cardio. It makes cardio go quicker, bro, as compared to music. Music, you're just there, listening to the song. Podcast, bro, because you're paying attention. I listen to podcasts when I'm driving into work, when I'm driving home from work, when I'm doing cardio, and even when I sit down. So Still I'm listening? Today, I'm fucking watching YouTube. You want to get through cardio? Listen to podcasts. 
specifically, serious and silliness. Much better than music. Good form. Perfect. Good form, bro. Right down to the belly button. Perfect. That was a good set. It's a workout. All right, lower the weight just to um, explain what a lot of people do wrong for rear delts when using the cables is they'll do this. One, they'll keep their arms. Well, first off, they'll be too close. You're not getting enough, if I should say, isolation when you're this close. The trick of it is to always have constant tension. How do you do that? Take a step back. Now you're stuck. Right now I'm hitting rear delts just by doing this. If I'm here, I'm not hitting rear delts. Too close. Come back, take a step back, and what a lot of, because then you're hitting back. You want to keep them stabilized, right? And I'm gonna up the weight in a bit. I'm just demonstrating. Here, and you wanna uh, with your elbow straight the whole time. Coming straight back. Now that's delts. Yeah. Perfectly that's straight. Awesome. Beautiful. Perfect. Good. Good. 100%. You feel it, right? All rear delts. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Ah. When I'm really feeling picky, I'll do one set this way, another set this way, another set over here, because, I don't know, bro, sometimes it feels different, both sides. I'll feel more tension on one side. I'm, dude, I'm just like that. I'm that dude, I'm that dude that won't put on a hexagon plate and a round plate. I need both. Beautiful. 
Good. Beautiful. Good set. Push, push, push. Good. Push. You got it. Come on. Good. Push, 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 and down. Push, more, more. Beautiful. Almost knocked me out. <laughs> Come on. A lot of times when I'm doing movements where my shoulders got to be straight, like not like this or anything, I'll notice my left one drops. When I was a kid, I broke my collarbone here and I dislocated it at the same time. So like this piece here was like hanging. Let's do that. It healed. I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bro. Really? And I freaking oh, shit. pop my shit out one day. <laughs> so it affects me now. When I'm doing chest, yeah. my right shoulder comes up, my left shoulder drops. Really? So I gotta pay attention to that every time I'm doing stuff like this. I have any serious injuries that... Oh yeah, I got titanium in my back actually. There you go. <laughs> That's even worse than I this. Got, I got uh, three... Uh, what do they call it? Three spinal... Titanium plates, right? Yeah, I got uh, screws and titanium... Uh, I had spinal stenosis, uh, herniated discs. So I have three vertebrae titanium together. So you gotta stay away from barbell squats, shit like that? Yeah. Or no? You need back supported stuff, hack yeah. squats. I still, I, yeah, well, I leg do, press. I'll still squat like maybe once a month. Okay, good. 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 Come on. Beautiful. Come on. Push, 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 push. You got it. So that did it. We just wrapped up a back workout. Rear delts. Me and Big Matt. Remember, go to NewJerseyTrainingGroup.com for personal training. Matt definitely knows what he's doing. He'll get your ass in shape. And this is serious and silliness bodybuilding. Fuck it, just walk by. Who cares? This is serious and silliness bodybuilding. Like, share, subscribe. YouTube, Rumble, iTunes, Google Podcasts. And if you're interested in my other channel, it's serious and silliness Outcast. It has nothing to do with bodybuilding. All right. See you later.